Okay, hey guys. Um, my name is Kaylin. I am a marriage and family studies major, and I plan to get my master's degree in marriage and family therapy afterwards so that I can be a marriage and family therapist. But um, to do this assignment, we're going to do a career that would be um, sufficient for a bachelor's in marriage and family studies. Um, there's not a whole lot, but I did find one that um, I found interesting, and it is a life coach. So um, it's, it's one that's not typically an organization. It's usually like a privately owned or entrepreneurial company, um, something that you can like do, you know, yourself, self-promote. Um, I don't personally know anybody in this career, but this is some information I found while researching it. As for the working environment, it consists of being, you know, typically a smaller organization, usually privately owned. Um, there's sometimes partnering or grouping of therapists to create a larger company, um, but 86% of life coaches are self-employed. So it's something people usually do by themselves. And typical work hours depend on the clientele and the life coach's business model, like what they want. Um, it can be like a 9 to 5 job of clients. Um, but oftentimes it's a flexible workplace and it has flexible work hours or situations where clients can meet with you on your terms that you can set up. Some typical stressors can be um, effects on the life coach's personal life or carryover from uh, others' issues, you know, bringing that home with you. Calls in the middle of the night of people needing your help or just the overall mentioned stressor is separating work life from personal life, which is common in a lot of um, social work or counseling careers. Another stressor can be finance related because uh, a simple bachelor's degree in social work or marriage and family studies is not going to get you um, what you could get if you were to go to graduate school. Some typical benefits of this career, um, one might view the entrepreneurial lifestyle or business model as a benefit. Um, but that said, uh, insurance and retirement and other benefits might, might not be present or as easily accessible as some other careers. Some common job tasks uh, include spending about six months with a client to establish goals, line up priorities, monitor progress, and figure out solutions to specific setbacks that they have or need help with. Um, as for educational requirements, there are no specific educational requirements, although like a marriage and family study degree would help with cre credibility as well as general knowledge of um, common marriage and family issues that people would have and that can arise. Supplemental certification is available through an organization called ICF, but it's not necessary or required. Starting salary is twenty-five thousand, and estimated experience salary is forty-eight thousand a year. So again, not too good unless you, um, you know, wanted to get something else with your degree. Um, but some miscellaneous career information is um, basically just that you can get uh, certified or have some credibility with that ICF foundation. Um, as well as, you know, if you're really into just kind of doing your own thing, being your own boss, don't want a lot of school, um, then this would be a good option. So, this was my presentation. <laughs>